All right, so let's go over an example or two uh, from the Hume Rother rules that we discussed in the last lecture. All right, so the first example I have for you um, is to look at a couple things. So I've given you a table, and there are similar tables that you can find in the book as well. So this gives a lot of information about um, things that you'll need to apply the Hume Rother rules. And what I want you to do is um, a comparative question. I want you to see if you can predict which one will dissolve more in a metal. So for the first one, we look at zinc and which will dissolve more, aluminum or silver? And also, uh, same type of question, but which one will dissolve more in copper, zinc or aluminum? So use the information provided here and see if you can predict which one will dissolve more in those two metals. Uh, do that in the quiz and then come back and uh, we will discuss. All right, so now that you've had a chance to look at this, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this with regards to hume rother rules. So for the first one, let's look at zinc. So um, we're gonna look at zinc and we wanna know which one dissolves more. So dissolved more means which one is gonna form uh, more of a substitutional solid solution. So we want it to match those hume rother rules with zinc the best. And so for a baseline, I've highlighted the information for zinc. So zinc has a radius here. It's got the HCP structure, electronegativity of 1.6 and a valence of 0.2, or plus two, sorry. Um, so now we're gonna look at those and compare those values with aluminum and silver. And so we have that here. So I've highlighted them here. And so let's look at uh, the first criteria. So the radii. So the radii, they're both larger than zinc, you see, and they're actually pretty similar to each other. But if we comparatively want to know which one's closer to zinc, then obviously aluminum would match that criteria better. Okay, so that was the first hume roth rule is a size difference. The second one was, um, if we go back, let's go back and just show it, uh, uh, similar electronegativities and then crystal structure and then valence. So let's do it in that order. So uh, electronegativity, uh, 1.6 for zinc, and you see that uh, silver is 1.9 and aluminum 1.6. So it meets, uh, it's closer for aluminum. So aluminum is better, uh, closer electronegativity and uh, size as well. Next one was crystal structure. Well, HCP, and then both of these are FCC. So neither of them kind of win that, right? And so that's kind of a draw. We'll call it a draw. And then valence. Um, here, you see that uh, both of them have different valence than zinc. So it really comes to which is better, lower or higher. So let's go back to that table and see. So it wants the same valence, but then it says all else being equal, it, uh, a metal will have a greater tendency to dissolve uh, a metal of higher valency than one of lower. So if we go back, the one with the higher valence is aluminum again. And so that is better than the lower valence. So for three out of these four criteria uh, would belong to aluminum. And so in this case, we would say aluminum would dissolve more in zinc than silver. All right, so it also asks us about copper. So here I've got copper highlighted with all of its information, and then let's look at zinc and aluminum. So size criteria first, you see that copper is pretty small, uh, aluminum's pretty large, but then zinc's kind of in the middle. So uh, this would say that zinc uh, wins that criteria. Electronegativity, uh, 1.9 for copper, so relatively high. And then both of these are uh, lower, but zinc um, is uh, a little bit closer to the 1.9. So zinc uh, wins on that one as well. And then valence, um, zinc has the same valence as copper. And so we would say that because of that, 
uh, it checks that one, it checks this one, and it also checks this one. And then if we look at the crystal structure, which I glossed over, uh, but uh, copper is FCC, aluminum is FCC, but zinc is HCP. So in this case, aluminum gets that for a check mark. So it's got one, but zinc has the other three. And so we would say that zinc dissolves more in copper than aluminum would. So this was an example of uh, comparative. We're comparing two metals as solvents to one, and we're seeing which one would dissolve more to form more of a substitutional solid solution. So we didn't care about the absolute values of that less than 15% um, in terms of the size difference. We just wanted to see which one was better at meeting the criteria.